In the C language, in the lab, you are gonna use an editor. So in the editor, you are gonna write the source code. Then this source code could be compiled by the editor. In general, actually we have some development tools. They are all put together and it's called integrated development environment. Shortly, I, D, E. So what is ID? It is a collection of software. There are some software, okay? So you can use this software to write your program, to compile it and to run it, okay? So in this course, you are gonna use, for example, code blocks, code blocks, okay? Or dev C++. So these are two examples of integrated development environment. And in that environment, you will have some softwares. One of the part of the software is the just an editor. In the editor, as you see here, you just write your source code, that's all. Yes, it looks like PyCharm Visual Studio is another kind of integrated development environment, all right. Let me continue. Here you see the flow of how we code, you know. You begin, of course, there is something missing here. I will put here. Remember that we have the problem first. Then we develop our algorithm. Okay. Then the algorithm should be in two ways. Either it's a pseudocode or it is a flow chart. Okay, then the programmer, programmer, a human being, or there are many programmers, okay, many, they will begin to write the source code. So source code will be saved to the hard disk as a source file. Is that okay? Actually, this is source code, source code. So you save the source code to the hard disk, you know, to the hard disk. You can save this. Now it becomes source file. Okay. And as you might know that in any file, we have the dot and some extension, right? Extension. For example, the Word document, for example, let's say that mm, my petition dot x talk right for example or my picture uh, dot jpeg right so this is the extension in c we are gonna use dot c as an extension is it clear for everyone in c plus plus language in C++ language, you can use that extension. In Java, you know, you can use the dot Java extension. In Python, blah, 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 it goes like that. You understand the main idea, right? So it yeah. means that uh, you save your source code to the hard disk by giving the proper extension. If it's picture, it's mostly JPEG. But if it is C, it must be dot C. If it is C++, it must be dot C PP. But in this course, please ensure that your source file is with the extension dot C. Am I clear? All right. Now, after writing this source code, not file, the file is on the hard disk. After writing this source code, you need to compile it. Compilation means that here the source code is in the text format. Okay, text. Basically, it means that any human being can, human being can read and understand because it's text. You can open this source code with notepad. Do you understand? Okay. But after compilation, now it is binary format binary format. 
In that format, the file extension becomes object and it's called object code. Okay, and this object code automatically, automatically saved to the hard disk as object file with the extension dot object. If you compile your source code, object file is automatically created for you. The extension is object and it is a binary file. So you cannot open and look into the inside. After object file created, one more thing we have to do is the link this object file with the other object files. There could be other object files. I will explain later. Then after putting all these object files by using the linker, so we link all of them, we can create the executable file Actually, it is executable code. When you created the executed code, it is automatically saved onto the hard disk as an executable file with the ex extension of that exam. Okay, so to help you to do all these steps, we use integrated development environment. Instead of doing every step by yourself, we are going to just click compile button in the integrated development environment, as you will see through in two weeks. All right. That's the whole story. You write the source code, you compile it, you have the object code, you link it. Now you have the executable file. You can run this file to output something on your secret. Okay, that's the whole idea. And integrated development environment will mostly take care of all these steps, providing some buttons, for example, compile button. When you click the compile button, all these things happens automatically. 